Welcome to another Rust Turned video. Today we went solo on a high pop server and we're going to go from nothing to quite a rich player just by grinding and PvP. If you guys want to see more Rust Turned videos in the future, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Subscribe if you haven't already, a huge percentage of you guys watching this video aren't and you're trying to get that 30,000 zone. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my Discord and contact me there. Today we're going to roll another one which is burning 3D glasses. To have a chance to win this mythical, make sure that you have liked, subscribed and commented something below. Stream members also have a higher chance to win, so if someone wishes to a member the link will be in the description below i would also like to shout out each and every one of you for becoming a member we also have opened the member only giveaway chat in my discord so if you are a member and you're not in my discord yet make sure to join it so you can win some free skins and mythicals if you guys want to host your own unturn server for you and your buddies then pine hosting is the way to go pine hosting is the same hosting servers that i use for all my unturned servers and events with pine hosting you can host many different games apart from unturned such as rust arc valheim and minecraft you can create your servers in a very very short time locations are all around the world cheap prices workshop and plugin installer and much more if you're interested to buy a server, make sure to check the link below and use the code LDG for 30% off and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, we are currently joining Ross Turned. I have not played Ross Turned in a very, very long time. We're gonna play probably one of the most populated Ross Turned servers that there are. So we are in. The map is not that big. This is quite a small map. This map is mostly oriented towards PvP more than anything else. Now there are some kits. This kit star which gives me like a wooden axe and a wooden pickaxe. So yeah, we're next to cargo. That's pretty good. But first, I think it's a better idea if we actually build a little base. So that if we get anything good from elite crates or we get ourselves a good kill. There's a bunch of mines stones as well so somebody was definitely here but yes as i was saying earlier if we do get ourselves anything good then we would be oh well this guy's trying to kill me i shot him twice yeah, yeah, yeah dude i'm literally one hit away as well obviously i'm gonna try to kill him yeah there we go he's dead and let's go back to chop and let's med up because he almost killed us this guy literally just spawned as well i'm pretty sure there's some loot on the floor i'm gonna take some of these components we can salvage them later on we can get ourselves some pretty good loot but yeah today i do want to build myself a pretty nice base perhaps a two bite so would be good i don't want to go anywhere crazy when it comes to base building just somewhere to store our loot and i'm gonna try to get myself some of the high tier items so i'm gonna try to get myself the ak the lr perhaps l96 that would be pretty cool and i hear some Somebody walking there's somebody else i just have absolutely no idea where he is what i am so confused anyway let's just continue chopping down trees wait why am i not getting logs from this one? Oh, because they're maple oh yeah we cannot use maple oh, i'm gone i'm dead great start already died that guy just disappeared oh, i'm gonna kill myself so maybe i get better spawn i wanted to build close to the cargo to be honest that's a really really good location to loot yeah perhaps we could build it somewhere around here we're close to dome Close to oil rig. Two very good locations, but always full of people. Which is good and bad, because we can get ourselves some easy loot, and we can die multiple times. I'm gonna start chopping down some trees. Perhaps I cannot, perhaps I can also do myself a kit, which is a MP5 kit, but there's a huge cooldown to it. Yeah, I don't even have clothes. Yeah, I'm gonna do the kit, and I'm gonna run around with it the whole time. And get ourselves a stack of logs. I'm gonna chop down as quickly as possible, so that we can start base building. Good thing about Rust Turn is that each time you hit a tree, logs instantly go inside your inventory, even with other nodes like metal, stone, sulfur, literally all of them. It's very, very, very cool. Yeah, I think we got enough logs to start building a little base. Now, first things first, we're gonna need to make ourselves a building planner and a hammer, or else we wouldn't be able to build. So we gotta unstack all of these. A hammer. I hear a lot of shots in the background. And a building planner. All right, and let's start. So first, we gotta make ourselves some foundations. We'll do a 2 by one for now, and later on we'll just upgrade. Let's make all of the pillars. Now we will switch to the walls. Hopefully I have enough wood. Now we gotta do the doorway. Lovely. And now we gotta do ourselves to roofs. There we go. Now the base is also decaying. Which basically means we need to make ourselves a tool cupboard. We gotta upgrade everything or else people can break it literally with their fists. And I am out of logs. So we gotta farm ourselves a bit more. There's M249 shots very close as well. As soon as the base is finished, I'm just gonna go straight to PvP. That's literally all you can do in Rust Turn, to be honest. PvP and base raiding. Alright, it's also get, starting to get dark as well. Alright, let's make ourselves the tool cupboard so base doesn't decay out of nowhere and disappears. Place that right over there. Continue upgrade the base. Let's make ourselves all of the roofs as well. There we go. The floors. And I am out of logs once again. We're gonna need to farm again. An airdrop is passing by. Somebody probably called that, so I'm not gonna go for it so that we get lasered. 
All right, and there we go. Hopefully now we have actually enough, but we should. Yeah, I can barely see anything. All right, let's unstack all of these. Let's upgrade that. We're gonna need to do all of the pillars. And we need to get ourselves metal anyway so that we can do the door. Yeah, turn day, lovely. All right, I think this is the last pillar and they should all be upgraded. No, we still have one more. Yeah, now it's fully upgraded. Let's go. Get ourselves a, a two by one wooden base. Make ourselves a campfire. We'll place that bad boy right over there. Now let's stack those. A lot of shots going on in the background. So there's a metal node right over here, perfect. Let's pick up all of these cloths so that we can make ourselves a bed as well. Yeah, it gives us quite a ton of metal. Already got our full stack. Alright, this one is done. They're probably PvPing at dome actually. Or at airport or something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we should be finished now. Now we are back in base. Let's cook that. Got ourselves quite a ton of metal. Make ourselves a door. Base is sealed. And now let's make ourselves a bed. Actually, we're gonna need to make ourselves some crates as well and we need logs. I do not have enough, so I'm gonna need to farm those once again. But first, let's make ourselves a sleeping bag. Place that and claim it. Now I'm gonna drop these just in case I die, they wouldn't get them. They will be safe in our base. And all we need is the rock to chop down trees. Alright, we are back on myself. 40 logs. We're gonna make ourselves a crate. There we go. We can make ourselves another one. And that's enough storage for now. Now it's time to go out there and kill everybody. Hopefully. Alright, so I'm gonna loot airport. Usually over here you can get quite a ton of elite crates. That's what I'm hoping for. But it seems it's already actually looted. Yeah, there's some junk. Let me take all of these pipes and gears. They could be quite important. My inventory is almost full, by the way. I'm getting quite a ton of loot. Oh, there's a guy right over there. And he seems stacked. And he is dead. Alright, let's check out his loot. Yeah, he's geared. Oh my god. Yeah, he has a big backpack, a bunch of guns, bolt, AK, rocket. Dude, insane loot. Alright, yeah, let's take literally everything. There's a bunch of junk we don't really need though. He has a lot of food. He had a fully decked out SAR, bunch of attachments. Let's go over here and home. Oh, there's actually a elite crate. He didn't loot this one. Um, bunch of more guns, armor door. That's really good. There's another elite crate over here. Give me C4, please. Let's fill up our inventory. There's another AK, a bunch of guns. Put the tech trash. Now, all of these components that I'm getting, they're all gonna be smelted. So, we're gonna try to get ourselves a full HQM base. I'm not gonna leave it wooden, obviously. And HQM, the easiest way to get it is by salvaging components. So we go over here and we start salvaging everything. I'm not gonna keep anything. And a lot of scrap, so I don't even know what scrap is used for on the server, to be completely honest with you guys. We get ourselves, like, 40 high-quality metal. Let's put all of the guns, the medium backpack, Right helmet, HQM, the scrap. We got ourselves a lot of scrap. Here we got some more items in our vaults. We'll salvage these two. Alright, first kill, pretty good. He was stacked. He's been farming for a while. He basically farmed the airport for us, and we just got over there and got all of the loot in like less than a minute. So I'm pretty happy. Alright, so we're gonna start upgrading base. We're gonna start off with the roofs first. There we go. We can make these walls as well. I think I am out though. Oh no, we had more. Yeah, now we are out. Right, so with that one kill, we've already upgraded four buildables. Lovely. Right, I'm still gonna go with the MP5 since it's a kit gun. We ourselves have an extra rock. Now next, we're probably gonna go loot somewhere like the dome. Because I'm pretty sure that guy that we just killed will be returning to the airport looking for me. So I don't think it's a good idea to actually go there. First, I'm gonna start farming some more logs. the hell wait what was that noise Bro, what is going on it sound like dude what is this noise this is terrifying <laughs> all right well i'm hopefully not gonna have to pvp against that i don't even know what that is it sounds like an admin gun or something like that i don't know there's a guy over there i don't think he saw me so that's good i'm gonna push yeah he's clueless oh wait no he's not he's dead uh, um i don't think yeah he didn't have anything all right elite crate um, okay. Some pretty good loot, in my opinion. We can smelt all of these. Flamethrower ammo. Right, let's go to the dome next. All right, there's an elite crate up there. Now, I'm pretty sure we need to jump over here, yeah? We do this jump. Anything insane. Locker. Some ammo. Some of the stuff is falling down. Ourselves a spas. Somebody's shooting an L96 very close. And we missed the jump. Okay, well, got a Thompson from this. Has a high external wall. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright boys, we are back in base. I'm gonna place the locker. Pretty good loot run. Got ourselves quite a ton of junk. Got myself some more, got myself some more high quality metal as well, obviously. Got ourselves some oil too, which is pretty nice. In case we wanted to start doing C4, we're definitely gonna want to need that. Alright, so I'm gonna take the high quality and we can upgrade perhaps a wall. There we go. Lovely. Yeah, one of my goals is actually making the full base high quality metal. I think that's a pretty good goal to have. Alright, so next we're gonna head back to the airport and we're gonna see if anybody is there. Alright, so I saw some people. 
Uh, it was a duo, and they're going straight to the airport. It's right over there. So what we're going to do is I've loaded my backpack so that if I die, I don't lose it. And I'm just gonna go in with the MP5, nothing else. Because obviously a duo is definitely harder to kill, especially with TP and all of that. He's right over there. We gotta figure out how we're gonna kill him. Uh, hopefully he don't see me, actually. Yeah, there's a, there's a guy inside. Bro, I hit him so many times. I'm getting shot at. And he's dead. Heavy armor, bolt. The other dude shot me from somewhere far. Oh. And there was another. Okay, well, there are more than one person. Lovely. The only thing we lost is the MP5, which is a kit, so it's fine. Alright, since we're here, maybe I can go loot cargo. I don't think that's a bad idea, actually. Right, so I'm pretty sure we can do the starter kit again, yeah. Finally, we got ourselves uh, an actual axe. Alright, it broke. Uh, clothes, a bow. Some armor, though. I'll take those. Alright, now let's go to cargo. And this one, another custom SMG, alright. And there's somebody speaking in-game. Um, there's people. I don't know if they're up here or if they're down where the cargo is. Oh, no, they're up here. I hear steps. Yeah, and there's loot on the floor. Pretty sure they're gonna... Yeah, they're up here. Oh, I am out of ammo. Wait, let's switch this SMG. Alright, both dead. Let's go. Oh, he has... Dude, he has a rocket launcher with a rocket in it. This guy had... Yeah, they don't really have that much stuff, actually. But the rocket launcher, man. That's really good. God bless. Alright, there's a more loot here. Dude, there's five shotguns on the floor. Alright, let's drop some of the crude oil so we can put the RPG in there. Make ourselves our first raiding weapon. Thankfully, I found myself the second custom SMG down there, man. I would have been... I could have died there if I didn't pick it up. Alright, let's refill this bad boy. Get ourselves some pistol ammo. Alright boys, so I'm gonna farm as much metal and sulfur as possible. There's a lot of nodes in this area. So that maybe we can... I mean, our inventory is almost pretty full. But it's okay, we'll just get ourselves as much loot as possible and then we'll get out of here. Alright, so I'm currently at Lighthouse and somebody has already looted this. Oh, wait, I see a head, bro. He's literally right there. Is he... Oh, I thought he was AFK, but he's not. He had a SAR. Nothing else. Alright, so over here from the top, I'm pretty sure you can get elite crates. There's literally one over here. Okay. I think the guy that we just killed, uh, I don't know, he heard me and he was scared. Oh, LR. Finally, we got ourselves the best tier weapon on Ross Turned. Alright, so let's go to the very top. Pretty sure there's some good loot over there. Now, as soon as we're gonna go back to base, I'm probably gonna upgrade it to a 2x2 two two, rather than the 2x1. It's kind of getting small and it's pretty much full as well. We made ourselves a pretty nice rack switches today. Now, let's destroy this crate. Anything good? Not really. A bunch of more components, I guess. Alright, yeah, the leather is right over here. Hopefully, the LE crate is actually unbroken. Yeah, it's right over here. Great. And this one dropped. Medium backpack. Mer door, some guns. Here get ourselves another full inventory. And there's some loot in the middle. There's a flamethrower in the middle. Oh, I can't get that, man. Feels bad. It's fine. I'm probably not gonna use it anyway, even if I had one. I just wanna collect all of the different guns, basically. Alright, so from that round, got myself quite a ton of high quality. So, we should be able to finish... The full bit- oh, never mind. Yeah, we only require, like, the one wall. And I think we should be done. Yeah, we still don't have enough. Yeah, there's still somewhere over here. Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, we only need to do the doorway now. And it would be full HQM. Pretty good, man. Alright, so I'm gonna chop down as much trees as possible next. Got myself a salvaged axe, which is the best axe that you can get. And then we're gonna upgrade base to a 2x2. Two two. Alright, so the 2 by 2 bit has also been built. Got myself an armored door. It's also been fully upgraded. Over there will just be like a honeycomb area. So if people tried to raid there, they wouldn't, you know, they would just raid into nothing. I'm gonna make myself some more crates because I have literally none that are empty. Get myself one, let's go put it right over there. Alright, next we'll go out there. I'm probably gonna farm myself some more metal and sulfur. And then probably we'll just go loot. I don't know, lighthouse or something. We'll see. Alright, there's a guy. Let's go kill him. Now, I only have the one magazine in my LR. I can make myself more. Yeah, he's right over there. I right, hit him a couple times on a headshot. Oh, he was pushing me. Alright, he's dead. Oh, my guy has shotguns. Yeah, that's why he was pushing me. Makes sense. Alright, not too bad load though. A bunch of components. Alright, let's home depot these. Alright boys, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys do want part 2 perhaps to come out, then let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!